Excellent afternoon, everyone. Excellent, excellent afternoon to every one of us. We're all welcome to this afternoon's broadcast. Welcome, 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 and happy midweek. <laughs> oh, gracious Lord. I really thank God for his faithfulness upon my life and upon your life, especially for those of us who have been following the trend of things and those who have been on the road. I, for one, have been on the road throughout, and God has been so, so faithful unto me. I welcome every one of us to this morning's broadcast, as uh, afternoon broadcast, as we're going to be looking at facts that you need to know about ulcer. We'll just look at a few facts you need to know about ulcer today, and then we'll be able to, you know, do more as the month runs. Last month, we looked at arthritis in debt. We handled a lot of teachings on arthritis and then we're able to know the causes, the remedies, the foods that you're supposed to eat and we even tried our hands on some foods. I want to quickly share this on my page and on my groups so that uh, we can get going today. Network is at work again. <laughs> Not as fast as it should be but I'm sure we'll be able to get through with what we need to do today all right so you can also kindly share it with your friends try to share with your friends so that they can join us this month we're looking at ulcer all types of octopeptic ulcer stomach ulcer leg ulcer all forms of ulcer we're going to be dealing with this month incidentally i didn't want to do this i'm like mm. Oh, let me leave until God now gave me a show, one small show, so that I'll be able to help those <laughs> who are having it. By Friday, even before Friday, I'm like, mm, I don't think I'll be able, I'll go through this um, ulcer teaching you know, this month, that maybe I should handle high blood pressure or something like that. But as I was in between high blood pressure and ulcer, God gave me a sign for me to handle ulcer this month. So that's why i'm here to share with you this the whole of june or most of june on ulcer so get your questions ready everything you need to know about ulcer we'll be handling every one of them this month and then um, also be showing you some of the things that can help you stay healthier and stay away from every form of stomach issues that you may be having Hello, IJ Uzoma. You're welcome to this morning, afternoon's broadcast. Kindly share with friends. I'm also trying to finish up the sharing and then we'll go on to the work of today. We'll go on with what we need to do today. We are looking at ulcer, all causes of ulcer, and also what can you do to make sure you stay away from ulcer and all the consequences of ulcer so just kindly um, share i'm almost through let me share it on my personal page and then we get going uh, not only you do it public for me yeah all right so that's it i hope my phone will be hello and and you're welcome I hope my laptop will behave so that I'll be able to see our questions. So you can ask your questions as we go on. I'll try to put on for us to see. I can see a lot of people. Great, good afternoon so that I'll be able to greet you and welcome you to this afternoon's broadcast as we look at facts that you need to know about ulcer. Some of the facts you need to know. I'm going to be very fast today and uh, make it as short as possible so that I'll be able to share it with a lot of groups that will need it after today. All right. Um, of course, we all know that peptic ulcer disease is a type of ulcer, and that's what people commonly call ulcer. You can have ulcer of the wood that comes from wood in different parts of the body, but the most common you know, um, type of ulcer that people know is the peptic ulcer you know it's common and it affects more than four million people each year in united states of america only and over 10 million people all over the world ulcers are sores or eroded areas that form in the lining of your stomach or your duodenum that is your lower 
um, intestine, your lower bowels. So if you leave it untreated, if you don't handle it on time, you know, a lot of people can bear pain. So, such people who can bear pain, when the ulcer symptoms comes with pain, they will be bearing it, they will be taking paracetamol, taking all sorts of things just to mellow the pain, you know, to treat just the pain symptoms. If they leave it untreated, you know, that is the pain, the significant pain. It can also cause a lot of pains. It will now gravitate and then it can also get into bleeding. But the good thing about ulcer disease is that, you know, most people that develop ulcer, it can be easily treated. Your ulcer can easily be treated. Hello, Grace, Nanju, you're welcome to this afternoon's broadcast. Welcome, Amaka Madu, to this afternoon's broadcast. BC, you're welcome. Ify, hi, thank God you're joining us live today. <laughs> work, 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 Lude. You're welcome. Thanks, we missed you, Ify. Thanks for coming on live today. Hello, Pat, Allah, Bala, you're welcome to this afternoon's broadcast. We're looking at some facts you need to know about ulcer, causes, symptoms, you know, prevention some of the foods you can use that can help you so what are the causes of ulcer already i've told us what ulcer is now you need to note the difference between acid reflux and ulcer some people when they are having some kind of acid reflux due to the food they have eaten they will say they are having ulcer acid reflux can lead to ulcer if you don't handle it and especially if you don't stop what is causing that acid or um, reflux so you can have an acid reflux, like that was what happened to me on Friday. <laughs> now let me now determine that I'm going to do this. <laughs> now let me tell you my story. Of course, some of us know that I was in the village. I went for my auntie's um, funeral, my uncle's wife, my father's first um, brother. They are the first, first, first of all of them. The wife died. So, and then I went to, to the village while she died and we had already put the funeral dates my father and i died after that i lost my dad on the 5th of may but my dad said i don't want anybody to put me in the morgue bury me immediately so i was still in germany when they buried my father so i just said let me go and stay with my mom and then attend this funeral so on, on thursday was the funeral i think i landed on wednesday then thursday was the funeral so that Thursday, I was just, you know, people I have not seen in years. Some of my cousins I have not seen for 30 years. We are such a large family, you know. Some of them 20, some of them 10. I have not seen my aunties maybe in a year or two or so. So I was with them. I just stayed with them. I was so happy. I forgot food. <laughs> I forgot to eat. And I ran out in the morning. I didn't even eat before going out. It was when I came back, my mom now asked because my mom was at home because, you know, a, a new, a young widow. Um, a new widow, more young. <laughs> she now asked, have you eaten? I said, wait, oh, I didn't eat, oh, and I need to eat, oh. <laughs> and I, I wish I just went to bed. And I said, what do I eat? Well, you know, I love ginger, I love garlic, I love, I just said, okay, get all those spices I who you saw to who? A lot of ginger, a lot of garlic, a lot. I forgot I had not eaten all day. So I took plenty ginger, plenty garlic, and plenty onions, and I took small sweet potatoes and carrots, and you know, there's this um, opaka, this um, oil bean something from my village. And then I went to bed with fan blowing me. By the time I woke up in the morning, I had acid reflux. This whole place was paining me. It was as if it was just coming to my shoulder. You know what would happen? When I hit, <laughs> the whole thing would just cover. You know, so I just wanted to differentiate for us, you know, ulcer and acid reflux. Hello, Bernice. Thank you, Bernice. Thank you, Bernice. Thank you, Bernice. I, one good thing I thank the Lord for was that my father got born again before he died. That was the greatest gift God has given me in such a long time. You know, that he was really born again and he professed it. And he went around to tell others about Christ. And that's the most important thing. It doesn't matter how long you live here on earth. If you don't give your life to Jesus, if you don't enter heaven, then you have lost all. So I'm so happy that my father is in the bosom of the Lord. Not really because people say it, but for indeed and in, in real sense. That's the greatest gift God gave to me. And I'm so, so happy. I'm so grateful to God for it. Because I prayed that prayer for 30 good years, almost every day. I was praying that my father would get born again. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Bennett. So what are the causes of ulcer? 
Hello, Pastor Evelyn. I didn't see you to greet you. Pastor Evelyn, you're welcome. Let me be sure I greeted everybody I see here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Evelyn. You're welcome. So the majority of peptic ulcers are caused by bacterial infection of the stomach, which is called the Helicobacter pylori. That's what the scientists call it. Helicobacter pylori. So I'll be calling it HP. So, so that I won't uh, bite my tongue. So this infection is often asymptomatic and can be acquired in childhood, just as early as childhood, one can acquire it. You know, I, I spoke with one of my cousins um, yesterday because I wanted to visit her on my way back to Lagos. You know, I stopped in her town to enter flight. So she was like, she wasn't around. So by the time I got to talk with her, she told me that her child had ulcer. And it was a very serious ulcer, and it's a little child in the secondary school. So you can see that ulcer, cause you know it can be asymptomatic and it can be acquired from childhood. And there are others also other causes of ulcer, and it could be another cause of ulcer could be regular use of aspirin and regular use of anti-inflammatory medicines like ibuprofen and the likes of it. You know. Well, if science does not have any evidence that stress can cause ulcer. But I believe that lack of care that comes with stress can lead you to some practices and habits that can lead to one causing ulcer, like we're going to be knowing as we go further. Because if actually bacteria infection can cause ulcer, then when you are not very, you don't have, you put enough care in your kitchen and in your with your food and the types of food you can eat, such things can also bring some kind of bacterial infection that might also lead to ulcer. Now, what are some of the signs and symptoms that you have when you have ulcer? Hello, Ibonessa Juliet, you're welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Elizabeth. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the hearts. I'm always happy to see that because it, it, it makes me know that people are here with me and the comments are also very much welcome. Just keep saying things. Keep typing things, you know, to encourage me and also to let me know that you're understanding what I'm saying. Oh, Pastor Evelyn said thanks for this topic. Yes, God had to make me do it. I didn't want to go into all sad now. But what happened to me on Thursday through Friday made me say there must be people. Because, you know, my husband is a pastor and he receives from the Lord. And he told me, he said, sometimes that God allows you to pass through something to be able to show people and to tell people what it is. So I believe that this ulcer, a lot of people are going to be blessed because we are going to bind every spirit of ulcer. <laughs> and I bind it now. Every spirit of ulcer, I bind you, I frustrate you, I command you to get out from anyone you are disturbing. God will open our eyes, give us inspiration, give us ideas, give us, you know, healing and help us to overcome you completely in Jesus name. Thank you, pastor. We will overcome. We have even overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> All right. Hello. <laughs> but yes, 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 yes. Chinyere Okandu, you're welcome. Welcome to this afternoon's broadcast. Welcome Janet Sims to this afternoon's broadcast and welcome Ogriki. Welcome Victoria Abia. Welcome um, Benis. I hope Abiodun, you're welcome. Welcome Tayo Taiwo. Welcome, 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 welcome. So we have overcome. So some of, I've already told us some of the causes. Majorly, science says that there are two causes: bacterial, you know, the, the, the bacterial infection that could cause it, and also the um, use of some kinds of drugs that can cause ulcer for you. So we say that Helicobacter pylori can cause it and also the use of some kind of medicine that are anti-inflammatory medicine like aspirin and ibuprofen. So some of the signs and symptoms, you know, the most common symptoms of um, stomach ulcer is burning and then, you know, one kind of um, groaning pain in the center of your tummy. Sometimes it comes on your diaphragm and then sometimes it comes on your, tum uh, on your tummy. You know, you know, stomach ulcer aren't always painful. And some people may experience other symptoms such as indigestion. You begin to have indigestion. You also can have heartburn and you will be feeling sick, you know, having one kind of fever or things like that. People with ulcer 
can also have a wide variety of symptoms. Some people also experience, you know, um, no symptoms. Some people don't have any symptoms when they have ulcer. Like uh, there was a guy, that a man that they did, um, um, what do they call it, all these tests for. And they kept telling him, you have ulcer. <laughs> the man said, I don't have ulcer. I'm not having pain. I'm not. They said, but you have ulcer. They said, you don't have ulcer. You know, it was just a big argument until the thing became very, very serious. So some people may experience no symptom at all. Or in rare cases, some people might develop some life-threatening complications such as bleeding. They will begin to bleed in their intestine. But some of the common symptoms, like I said, are abdominal pain, burning and se or one kind of burning sensation, nausea some people have bloating kind of constipation and then it makes you very tired you're fatigued and some people have some kind of their stools are black you know you know but the two most common type of ulcer we have is what they call the helibacteria you know um ulcer and then of course what we also call the non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs ulcers those are some of the causes then when it is the bacteria that causes the ulcer, how does it do that? It disrupts the protective mucous layer that lines your intestine. So that bacteria will go and destroy it. And when that layer is dis disrupted or destroyed, it will now trigger the release of certain types of enzymes and toxins that can injure the cell of your stomach or injure the cell of your duodenum, causing some kind of small, small sores. You know, it's just that I can't show you show us um, slides. You would have seen what happens in the stomach of somebody who has ulcer. You can see some kind of small, small spots of um, uh, of sores of you know injuries that are that one just um, got you know in the stomach. And once a small sore develops, the tissue now becomes very vulnerable, very, very you know easy for it to be damaged from the digestive juices that that will come and then this will now help make the person to develop ulcer you know so then we also have ulcer that can come out of the ibuprofen aspirin they call it the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs that people take especially those who have arthritis who are having some kind of pains or the other or, or one kind of inflammation that will cause a lot of pain they now give them all those aspirins or those who have high blood pressure and, and they need to you know to stabilize it so this type of drugs are taken actually to decrease inflammation and inflammation is caused by a natural chemical in the body called prostaglandins and then when these non-sterile anti-inflammatory drugs work to inhibit your body from producing this glands, that's what it does but you know some of these glands are actually very important to protect the stomach lining from corroding and from effects of the stomach acid that comes as well as you know maintaining a natural healthy condition for your stomach lining but when you now go and take all those drugs and they produce prostaglandins in your stomach. They can now cause ulcer and bleeding. And that's why it's very, very important for us to reduce um, taking some of these anti-inflammatory drugs. It's better for you to do be go on foods that can help you and make sure you are safe and okay. Anti-inflammatory foods. If you go down my page, you will see some of the foods I've mentioned that are anti-inflammatory. And again, you also need to stay away from free radicals and make sure that you have um, you do your um, you you detoxify all the time. When you detoxify all the time, you'll be able to have good stomach and good column health. Good column health is very very important for you. And that brings me to the next place i want to talk about today which is the healthy diet eating a healthy diet will benefit your intestine to benefit your intestinal tract and your overall health generally of course we know that is general generally is good it's a good idea for you to eat nutritious dense diets filled with fruits and vegetables and fibers very very important for you to eat this 
Hello, Reverend Apostle, Apostle Borokini. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thank you, thank you for greeting us. You're welcome to this afternoon's broadcast, Taiwo Tayo. Welcome, Pat. Welcome, Selena. Oh, Selena is listening from Lusaka, Zambia. You're welcome. Gloria Akman, you're welcome. Welcome, Kiruka. Ngozi Meke, my, my, one of my top fans. He's even showing you here. Top fan. Angie, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Odion Obi, welcome. Rita Dejo, you're welcome to this afternoon's broadcast. Welcome, Joe Okuchuku. Good afternoon. Okay, for my saying, how do you differentiate between constipation and ulcer, especially when you said bloatness, indigestions can be symptoms of constipation? Yes. Now, um, when you are having simple constipation, the constipation can be, you will know, because maybe it will just be because of what you just finished eating. In fact, let me tell you something. Generally, society says that ulcer does not come by what you eat. That's what science and medical doctors will tell you. That what you eat will not cause ulcer. I don't believe that with them. But I've read a lot of uh, work done saying that. I really don't believe it because I know from, from experience that you can eat something that can cause, that can cause the, the bacteria to come and then you will have it. And then, of course, when you're taking in aspirin and ibuprofen, is it not food that you have eaten? It's food in drugs that you have eaten. So I just believe that food can actually cause. So anyway... Constipation, how you know whether you're having constipation or, or, or ulcer? Ulcer, constipation is a symptom of ulcer, but you can have constipation that is not caused by ulcer. You could have constipation that, that is caused because you're dehydrated, because of the kind of food you have taken, and because um, your stomach, um, um, the balance between your pH is not really right. So how you know, or let me not say how, you may not, if you've not been having other symptoms of ulcer, then you know maybe the constipation is just from what you are eating and it can be treated and it's over. So that's another means of differentiating them. You can quickly take aloe vera gel, for example. <laughs> Immediately you take your aloe vera gel, your fields of green. Victoria, can I have fields of green, please? Your fields of green or your lysol. Now, I use a lot of lysol, but uh, fields of green is cheaper. Can I have fields of green, please? Aloe vera and fields of green. Like, let me tell us what happened. When I was in the village and I had that um, acid reflux, what I did, I just went to my mom. I said, Mom, do you have, you, do you have um, fields of green? Because I sent products to her. She said, yes, that she just finished using one. Oh, that she has not opened this one. I said, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, open. So she gave it to me. I opened the fields of green. I didn't travel with it, but I don't usually, I prefer using Lysium. It's more expensive, but it does other things like keeping your eyes safe. Lysome is very, very good for the retina, very good for the eyes. It's anti-aging. It's also good for your skin, and it also helps with the stomach health. So I prefer to go on, on Lysium, you know. So she now gave it to me and then gave me one bottle. I'm even owing her aloe vera gel because the one I traveled with finished. <laughs> The aloe vera gel I traveled with finished. I didn't want to carry too many notes. I'm going to be sending her, her supplements to her by today or tomorrow latest. So she gave me fields of green and aloe vera gel and I took it. You know, I started taking it from that Saturday. I started having that kind of feeling, Saturday, Sunday. And I'm okay. See, very, very okay. <laughs> All right, so Angie, that's how you can differentiate it. If you have constipation, try to treat it immediately. Aloe vera gel, fields of green. Take plenty of aloe vera gel, fields of green. You will just go to the toilet and you're okay. But if it's also after some hours, you know, you begin to have such feelings and such symptoms again. Hello, Amara, you're welcome. Welcome, Ude Abiona. A barrier, you're welcome. So you can throw in your questions. I'll ask your questions as we go on. So health, healthy diet. It's very, very important for you if you're already having ulcer and then also for prevention of ulcer. Very, very good. Go on your green vegetables, your fruits, and your fiber. Remember what I told us about fiber. Fiber is very, very good. This is fiber, and I did promo on fiber on Thursday, Friday. <laughs> I just decided to do promo on fiber on Thursday and Friday for those who needed to have enough fiber. Because when you're having ulcer, you need to cushion, you need to be sure 
that your stomach wall is in good health, healthy condition. So fiber can also help you. So you need fiber, vegetable and fruits, you know, to be healthy and okay. Foods that may also help you to fight off this bacteria pylori, H. pylori, also boost your body's whole healthy bacteria includes foods like broccoli, foods like cauliflower, foods like cabbage, like radish, leafy green vegetables like ogo, a wedu is very very good. If somebody is having issues, you know, of ulcer and things like that, plain a wedu, you just blend plain a wedu, even if you're not using it to swallow, just drink that a wedu, don't cook it for so long, spinach, kale, they are very very good and then probiotic rich foods are also very very good those of us abroad can easily get probiotic rich foods like um sauerkraut miso kombucha and of course yogurt yogurt is also very very good and if you can't get them get your pro b this is my pro b i don't joke with my pro b in fact anybody that has ulcer or anybody that has constipation problem or anybody that has issues with um the intestine i advise you to take pro b now this is our forever pro b is one of the best pro b in the market it comes um like this if you open it that's how it comes and it comes in very easily swallowed label um let me show you um mine finished i need to open up this one it comes in very easy swallow label um capsule let me show you so it's just like this you take one capsule in an empty stomach 20 minutes before you let anything enter your mouth when you as you're finishing your water therapy in the morning again people who have also need water therapy if you need to learn about water therapy you can just put water therapy and then i'll chat to you about it you know or you chat me on my number 0703515 plus 234703 515-1642 and I'll take you through your water therapy. Please help me put it on the screen and then pin it. So you take your Pro-B. Pro-B is very, very important for colon health. It's one single supplement I know that is, in, you know, if you even ask the doctors, they'll tell you take probiotic rich foods. This probiotic has the strength to reduce the bad bacteria in your colon and increase the good bacteria in your colon. So it's the number one product I always advise people to take if they have ulcer. Incidentally, I got this from US because we didn't have it in Nigeria. I had to order a carton from US. So I have it. You can have it. It's not in Nigeria. So I supply to some of my colleagues that also need it. You know, need it. So probiotic is one thing that you need and need very well to have a good colon health. Take it 20 minutes. Immediately you wake up after your water therapy, you take your probiotic and then before 20 minutes before you take any other food into your system and it comes in lovely package i really love it very very well all right so some of the other foods you can also take that can help fight h polary that causes can, um ulcer is you can take apples blueberries raspberries strawberries and blackberries and that's why i love aloe vera and berry nectar they are very very good for people who have ulcer and of course olive oil stay put with your olive oil all right let me see if anybody's talking uh, rita i'm going to be chatting you privately to tell you how much pro b is pro b is very important i advise everybody to have pro b then you are safe from ulcers safe from constipation safe from diarrhea safe from any colon issues i'll be chatting you later to tell you about it. hello esther you're welcome welcome florence afoledi to this afternoon's broadcast welcome victoria etu welcome grace grace you're welcome to this afternoon's broadcast my alarm is ringing i don't know for what ude abiola you're welcome welcome amara we are all welcome to this afternoon's broadcast so additionally some people with stomach ulcer some people with stomach ulcer may have accompanying acid reflux like i told us or they might even have acid reflux that they've allowed to stay for too long before it will now develop into, you know, um, ulcer. It is a good idea for you to stay away from spicy foods or sore foods while your ulcer is healing. Stay away from spicy foods, okay? 
um, me i love pepper a lot <laughs> so when i took that hot ginger hot pepper if i when they finish cutting the pepper for me i told them uh, my mommy's um, girl i said go and bring pepper she said auntie you're finishing the pepper in the house <laughs> I told her I said I came from the land where they eat a lot of pepper. Girl, give me pepper, by I finished the whole pepper in the house for them. <laughs> anyway, if you're having ulcer, try to stay away from plenty spicy food. Now let's look at some home remedies for um, stomach ulcer. In addition to eating healthy food, you know, to these things I'm going to tell you will also help you um, to reduce the effect of H pylori. That is the bacteria responsible for stomach ulcers supplements can help you now when i'm going to be telling you if you there's a kind of a stage of ulcer you will have it's better for you to go to the clinic let them do correct tests i'm going to be telling you that very briefly now and find out what you're supposed to do but some of these supplements will actually help you like i've already told us before some of the things you need to do is um, to take foods that's some of the home remedies take food that can help you and then you also need to make sure that you eat the time of your feeding is correct don't um, eat spicy food and things like that without taking plenty water and taking your deserts and then another thing that can cause acid reflux for some people is after loading their stomach and their, their, their themselves with a bar or apple, they will now go and take fruits like pineapple. When they take fruits like pineapple, it doesn't have a means of going, being digested. So, because they are so full, and then it can now cause some kind of acid reflux that might lead to ulcer. So, so those are some of the home remedies that you need. Then, like I've told us before, probiotic honey. Honey is also very good. These are forever honey. In fact, I have a lot of um, people who treat wound coming to buy this honey. So if you're having ulcers already that are torn or uh, giving you sore in your system, you need forever honey. I didn't say any honey. I'm being, being very particular and biased about it because there are some honey that can even cause ulcer for you. Some honey that already even have this bacteria we are talking about. But well, forever honey is very, very good. It's very, very important for you. It, it, it is well done very good um, environment it's not cooked it's natural it's not burnt it was it's um, harvested cold harvest then foods that have um, glutamine are also very good such as um, chicken fish if you're having also spinach cabbage in fact there is a recipe i normally give people is in that my ulcer book i have a book of recipe and a menu for ulcer that i made it goes for 1000 naira but for today if you need it i'll give it to you for 500 naira because we are treating ulcer i have a, a menu book and diet book for ulcer i put there for you cabbage and carrot mixture very very good for people who are having ulcer you take it last thing at night and first thing in the morning i've already done it after your probiotics i've done it for a lot of people and it worked for them so now i want to show us if you want to go on supplements that can help prevent ulcer that can also help um you with um, um treating some and managing ulcer the first supplement you need is aloe vera gel aloe vera gel very very important for you it has sapolene that can help with detoxification and also cleansing of your system it can also help remove free radicals it has over 210 nutrients and amino acids that can keep your gut health very healthy aloe vera gel very very important if you're having ulcer all right now another um, um one that can help you like i've told us before is your pro b pro b is very very important if you're having um ulcer or if you want to prevent ulcer i've told us about pro b very very important for you all right now another one that is also very important especially for those who already have wounds and sore in their system is the propolis propolis is an anti is, is, is a natural antibiotics you know if you study the bees propolis is what the bees use around their bee colony to prevent infection from coming in so it's actually an, a natural antibiotics it's so lovely because it doesn't have um, any anti 
any side effects so it's very very good so for those who are already having wounds to prevent further infection and also to treat the wound they need the propolis the propolis very very important and then if you can't afford the propolis or maybe actually you need them um, you need to you need to stay boost your immune your immunity then you need the immune blend the immune blend will help you because it's an immune boosting supplement and it's very very affordable in fact this time that the rains are coming most of my children have sent emu blend to them in school even those that are working i've already sent emu blend please take your emu blend i allow them to take it for one month or two months and it will keep a uh, flu catar cough away from them from this season and also malaria for those who you know are prone to malaria so emu blend is also very good lysol or and <laughs> Fields of green, you see that both of them are green, green. <laughs> All right, fields of green, fantastic. It's um, if you're even having some kinds of constipation or some kinds of um, also if you just chew some of these uh, fields of green, you will feel it go around your system. And then for those who need heat already, so a lot of vitamin A and E and C, a better care is another one. So I'll show you all the supplements you need for also. Of course, you know that the month of um, May, we did promo for arthritis supplements. There are no more promo. Please, I'm telling us. Move is no more on promo. You have to buy it at the correct price, the retail price, or at most 10% discount if you're my customer already. People who are already my customer, I'm still giving them at 10%, but it's no more. It's only ulcer supplements that are going for 20% just for today because I'm doing ulcer and um, whatever today, tomorrow. Those you, if you book it today, you pay today, latest tomorrow, and you have it at 20% discount. Fiber and Co. They are all at 20% discount for now. All right. I don't know who was calling me. So, so we've looked at some of the supplements that you might need if you're having um, kind of ulcer-like. We just keep this things here and here. Alright, so we go forward. It's important to get um is your stomach ulcer treated on time because without treatment it can cause a lot of pain it's better to take care of your stomach ulcer on time because without treatment ulcers that come because of the h pylori can cause further you know things for you it can bring up further um issues for you like bleeding from the ulcer side it can become life-threatening if it starts bleeding from that ulcer side. Then also another thing that can happen is called penetration. And penetration occurs when the ulcer goes through the wall of the digestive tract into the organ, such as the pancreas. You know, then it would have caused penetration. This is why it's so, it's so important that you don't allow yourself to stay with ulcer without treating it because it's really it can become life-threatening. The third thing that can happen is what we call perforation. If you have perforation, it means that the ulcer creates a hole in the wall of your digestive tract. Ulcer, if left untreated, can cause bleeding, can cause penetration, can also cause perforation. And also, it can also cause some kind of obstruction or blockage in the digestive tract. And this is due to the swelling of the inflamed tissue. So these are the four secondary, you know, diseases that can come if ulcer is not treated. Bleeding, penetration, perforation, and obstruction. And it's very, very important that you treat ulcer fast so that you will not be able to go through such things. Okay? All right. Um, somebody is asking a question. So is it safe to take all the supplements? every day if you have most of the health issues any side effects i hope my video is not interrupted please come and check what's it okay 
Well, Angie, uh, what I do, let me tell us the truth. There is no way you will have some of these health issues and they won't, you won't be able to manage and come off them after a while. For example, by the time I started taking supplements, before I started, I was having ulcer, I was having frequent malaria, I was having um, arthritis because of weight, I had weight issue, you know, sleepless nights, you know, all these things were bothering me and that's why I'm so happy and that's why I'm coming to you so that you can be free because I'm free. I'm very, very healthy. Okay. Ah, it's true. I'm not giving us the testimony. <laughs> when I came back with that um, acid reflux, you know, if you do like this, you know, <coughs> I came back home from the village with it. So yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, my husband forced me, said, you must go to the hospital. I'm not ready to stay. I said, I will be okay. I've come home where there is plenty aloe vera i'll drink my aloe vera and i'll be okay he said no 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 before i start drinking all those aloe vera i know it works so let's go to the hospital and be sure what is happening when we are sure what is happening we cannot come and use our forever products that's what he was telling me so i got ready in the afternoon yesterday i went to the clinic so when i went to the clinic they checked my blood pressure checked everything they said ah you're very okay what's wrong now and i told the um the doctor i said see what i have i did it in front of him. he said okay it's acid reflux so he said he now looked at my vitals he said ah, ah you're very your lungs is doing very very well 99 percent he showed me from the test they did he said it's 99 percent okay he said all this everything okay this was hospital you know um that i used to go in those days he now looked and said ah, ah it's been a long time you came here now because he's a new doctor he said, ah, it's been a long time you came here now. I said, yes. So he said, ah, you're doing very well. Which year did you come? He was now searching because my father was so old, everything. <laughs> so he said, ah, madam, you're doing very well. Lord. You're very healthy. To the glory of God, I thank God. So if you, how do I answer this your question? What I'm saying in essence is this. You will group them. Like now, for people who are having arthritis, take your arthritis supplements with your wellness supplement there are some supplements that are wellness supplement probiotic um aloe vera gel they are wellness you can take them all life there is nothing but like chemo blend i don't advise you to take it as a frequent um supplement you take emu blend seasonally like if you know there are like when there was um corona a lot i took a lot of um Emu blend because it, it it boosts some someone's immunity during cold season a lot of emu blend because it boosts your immunity and then when you have a kind of infection probiotic and then if it's ulcer you take your ulcer out but just stay on some supplements if you're very healthy as your wellness supplement so that you don't overload your system it's not good to overload so I advise people between 10 and 15 at most you know that you take types of supplements that you take we have so many of them if you i hope um if you have most of the health issues look there are a combination i can do for you if you so you can chat me privately so that you will combine what can touch everything but like i told us when i had arthritis and i took forever move i don't take forever move again because i'm not having arthritis pain any longer Ulcer. I don't go on some of the ulcer supplements that you will say per se because I'm. Um, let me look at them now. I'm not taking um, propolis. I'm not taking propolis now. I'm not taking emu blend. I'm not taking a beta care. I only go on fiber when I feel I need because I used to have constipation. I feel I'm not eating well. I go on fiber. All right. So, Beatrice Achon, why for me? Good evening. Okay, I'm watching. All right. Um, Okay, you're saying yours is more of gastric, uh, gastric, um, gastric for gastric ulcer. You will need aloe vera gel, fields of grain, propolis. You will need those ones, you know, for gastric ulcer. Okay, let's move on. No, time is going fast. All right. So we've looked at some secondary um, issues that might arrive if you um, take if you don't treat your ulcer well. I said bleeding, penetration, perforation, obstruction, or blockage. Then I also said stomach ulcer, especially non-cardiac and gastric. It can also bring forth stomach cancer if you don't treat your ulcer. 
you can arrive to stomach cancer or gastric cancer and symptoms of some of these complications can include weakness trouble breathing red or black vomitor stools sudden sharp pain in your abdomen which doesn't go away you will keep having that sudden sharp pain or abdomen and it will not go away if you're having any of these symptoms please you need to visit the hospital to do some tests so that they can look at you very well hello emmanuela good afternoon remy you're welcome thank you beatrice Achonwa. thank you yes i received more grace so welcome welcome joy vincent you're welcome all right so prevention of stomach ulcers to prevent the spread of the bacteria that might cause stomach ulcer you need to be very very clean let's make sure we are clean all way if you come back from a trip or if you come back from outside the house wash your hands very well with water and soap and try as like me for on the trip even if i don't want to use the toilet much i still go and wash my hands i have my hand sanitizer in my bag so that you will remain clean especially before food we also need to teach children this because many children who have ulcer develop this ulcer from bacteria if they are not um, um, maintaining healthy habits also be sure to properly clean all your fruits and vegetables very well before you cook i use salt or i am um, melting when i want to wash my fruits and vegetables or vinegar please so that especially those ones you won't cook on fire much like i don't cook my vegetables for too long so i always make sure i use salt to you know um, wash my fruits and vegetables then to prevent ulcer caused by um non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs the nsaid you need to stop using this medication don't use one sickness to bring another sickness i am begging you there are some people who are having arthritis. They developed ulcer on top because of the ibuprofen they are using. Some people are having some kinds of heavy pain and they just go and place themselves on aspirin and then they will not get ulcer on top of that disease that they are having. Limit their use. Arthritis can be very, very painful, but we have natural things that can help. Forever move. This past one month, I've helped over 120 people who purchased the Forever Move. I'm getting testimonies every day. I'm getting, in fact, some people have started buying their second month and their third month just to make sure they stay away. They don't have side effects. So why go on some of these steroid, non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs that can bring ulcer for you, you know? Then if you need to take them, then be sure to follow the recommended dosage. And also avoid alcohol while taking these medi medications. And then always take ibuprofen and aspirin with food and adequate liquid. Take a lot of food and adequate liquid. In fact, there's even one medicine that someone told me about that you can take first thing in the morning if you're going on ibuprofen. If you must go on ibuprofen and some of these medicine, try and take such preventive medicine that can make also not to become now the disease that you're curing. You know, treating ulcer. You know, it's important to promptly treat ulcer. Talk to your doctor to discuss a treatment plan. Like I always tell us, I'm not a medical doctor. I am a nutritionist. I am a, an alternative nutritionist, an alternative, you know, um, way of health, an alternative way of managing sicknesses, not through drugs. So go to your doctor. I always, always ask people, go and find out what the doctors are saying. When they finish telling you and giving you the medicine or telling you the medicine to buy, you come, we discuss. We, I will find out if there are alternatives that can help you. Like for ulcer patients, what I always tell them, yes, you're having this ulcer, it has gone fast. Stay on what the doctors are giving you, then take my supplements. You'll find out that gradually you will reduce the use of those drugs and stay on the supplement until you become healed and then i show you a lifestyle change that can help you stay healthy and stay away from those drugs you know if you have an actively bleeding ulcer you're likely to be hospitalized for intensive treatment with endoscopy and iv ulcer medications and that's why it's good for you to treat on time but if it's already gone far please don't stay at home 
People die of ulcer. Go to the hospital and let them treat you very well. Sometimes they even give people blood transfusion when they have very, very deep and high level of ulcer. Hello, thank you. Don't worry, Che. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the love. Thank you, Laura. Uh, mommy, mommy, Laura, you're welcome all the way from Delta State. We are all welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, I can still take in your question. I have nine minutes to go while I round off. I can still take in your question. So treating stomach ulcer, treatment will vary depending on the cost of the ulcer. Remember, I said there are two major causes. Either that is through the um, bacteria or through the use of drugs. So most ulcer can also be treated with prescription from your doctor. But in rare cases, surgery may be needed. Surgery may be required. Remember, prevention is cheaper, is safer, is, um, how do I put it? It's cheaper, safer, and better than cure. Stay away from ulcer. Eat healthily. Stay away from drugs that can bring all those ulcer. Take your supplements, in, you know, that can help you. And make sure you detoxify every day. Make sure you stay healthy. Take your probiotic for good colon health which can also help you stay away from ulcer. I've already shown us some of the supplements that can help you. You can see some of them on the screen now that can help you stay away from ulcer. And you can still see a few on the other side. Maybe you are not seeing that one. All right. So probiotic, aloe vera gel, B propolis, even blend, Lysol plus, forever fields of green, fiber can help you stay away. Now, sometimes we, when you go to the hospital, they give you some kind of non-surgical treatment. So if your ulcer is as a result of H. polari, you will need antibiotics and drugs called proton pump inhibitors, PPI, you know, to block the stomach cells that produce this acid if you want to go on drugs. If you want to go on supplements, I always advise if you already have some kind of injury, propolis, probi, immune blend, aloe vera gel and the rest so it depends on what your doctor tells you to take you go ahead and take it and if it has gone so far you might also need surgery like i said so i'll take our questions now and then we call it a day today on saturday we are going to be doing some exercises that can also help you if you're having one kind of pain i want to go to my page and check to see if i have some questions there and then greet us. Hello, Juliet. Welcome, Pat. Ify, welcome once again. Welcome, Deborah. Chinyere Okando, you're welcome. Owe, Juliana, you're welcome. Abiodun Lawa, you're welcome. Juliet, you're welcome. Benny Skufa, you're welcome. Tayo, Taiwo, you're welcome. You can put down your questions while I greet us. Some people come in while I've gone far. Then they'll come and say, you did not greet me. <laughs> So I want to go back and greet everybody. Tayo Taiwo, you're welcome. Pat Olofa, you're welcome. Chiwa Selena, welcome. Gloria Akpan, welcome. Kiruka, Ngozi Meke, welcome once again. Odion Obi, you're welcome. Welcome, Joe. Okay, Chuku, thanks for joining us, Pastor. Apostle Richard, thanks for joining us. And you have answered your question concerning indigestion and constipation. If you need that answer, you can watch the replay. Healthy eating helps to keep your intestine in a healthy state. Yes, thank you, Shegu, for typing that in. Good afternoon, Amara. Ude Abiola, welcome. Thanks for participating. Ebele Uzeoka, for thanks for participating. Grace, how are you? Thank you. I hope you're enjoying your fitness ball. <laughs> welcome. Victoria Utuk, you're welcome. Informa, thanks. Thanks for the thumbs up. Florence Afolabi, you're welcome. Esther Hero, thanks for participating. Rita Dejo, you're asking how much is Pro B. I'm going to chat to you privately to tell you how much Pro B is. Um, Emmanuel Remy, thanks for participating. Ruth Koya, thanks, Pastor. Okay, but they said pepper and ginger is not good for ulcer. Yes, because of acid reflux, Pastor. Pepper and ginger not good for ulcer because of acid reflux. So stay away from it if you're having ulcer, please. But they are good. But because of ulcer, like I told us, they are not good, okay? Felicia, you're welcome. Tena George, you're welcome. Ify, 
If you say, can fasting cause ulcer? Yes, if you fasting can cause ulcer and fasting can stop ulcer. <laughs> I don't want to say fasting is adaptogenic like aloe vera is adaptogenic. <laughs> But you know what? Let me tell us. I didn't want to say this here, but because of this question, if he has asked, I'm going to say it. When I was having chronic ulcer, one thing I normally use is to go on fasting on water only for five days. If I fast on water only for five days, that ulcer will bow out. <laughs> the ulcer will go away. But if you fast and you don't break well, if you can, you see. That's how fasting can cause ulcer. Fasting on its own cannot cause ulcer. But when you fast and you don't break your fasting well, it can cause ulcer. Let me give you an example. Like what happened to me, you know, I wasn't really, I was fasting, no, but I could have eaten. Nobody said I should fast. I didn't pledge to fast, but I just felt in the village I should stay in a kind of mood. I'll be able to pray well. Like I kept praying in tongues throughout the the service throughout the, my period and at that funeral day, praying for everybody, covering my relatives, you know, with prayers. So that was why one of the reasons I didn't eat, but not that I couldn't have eaten, okay? Now, why did I go to eat first food in the, in the day? I went and blended, if you see the ginger I gave them to blend for me, as big as this. Garlic, almost a clove of garlic, two big onions. That was what I ate. It wasn't right. So that's what ca could happen if he, breaking a fast can cause ulcer, but fasting does not cause ulcer. Fasting can actually heal ulcer if you fast on water for five days. All right. Hello, Ebele Chima. Thanks for joining us. Regina Wanze, thanks for joining us. If, if you have answered you the question concerning um, um, supplements, you can share them. I have one of my senior colleagues. He has a group of um, supplements he takes on for three months. Then he will change to another one for another three months. You know, uh, gastric um, ulcer, you uh, gastritis. You can take aloe vera gel, um, fields of green or lysium, probiotics or emo blend. Okay. Thank you, many, many grace to me. Thank you, Emanuela, for the thumbs up. Thank you, Ify, for the thumbs up. John Vincent, thank you for joining us. Eten Marian, how are you, Eten? Have you received your product? Please chat me or if you've not. Let me know if I'll call the FedEx office or forever office to find out where it is. I know it's this week you got it, but it ought to be reaching you soon. Hello, Don Wauche. Thanks for the love. Come back. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Then I don't mind. Others, you can shower the love and the heart. Thumbs up for me too. All right. Um, Usla March, welcome. Thank you. God bless you too, Remy. Good afternoon, Cyril. Thanks for joining us. Angela, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Chine Doom, thank you, thank you for joining us. Chine Doom. Um, Emanuela said, Ma, what can we use to detoxify every day? All right, Emanuela, for daily detoxification, what I usually use for daily detoxification is aloe vera and pro -B. Those are my two. pro -B helps to give you a good floral health, a good column health. That's what pro -B does. It reduces the bad bacteria and then increases the good bacteria. So I use it and then aloe vera. I take quarter glass first thing in the morning, quarter glass last thing at night. In fact, this is my own bottle. I don't even do quarter. <laughs> you see, it's open. I open it slightly. So I shake it. After shaking it, this one I opened it when I came back the day before yesterday. It's almost finished. So I just opened it the day before yesterday. So I just go. I take first go. Second go. And my third gulp, and I'm sure I've taken up to have. Sometimes I'm so skinny, I just use it also to mix my cardio health. I also use it to mix my IG. So I take plenty. So that's what I use. Okay, Emanuela, that's what I use. And it's going on 20% discount because it's part of all star um, supplements. So you can have it. 
Um, I have another question here. Can also cause dizziness? Yes, also can cause dizziness. It can cause tiredness. It can cause fever. It can cause fatigue, depending on the stage of also. Those are some of the, you know, um, some of the symptoms that can come with it. Okay, Ola Jumoke say thank you for this teaching. Thank you, Ola Jumoke too. It is two o'clock and we need to go. Thank you all for joining me. Chat me on my number and order for your product if you want to. If you don't want to, get what is good for you. I've already mentioned some of the foods that you need. And then another thing I need to tell us, if you're having acid reflux, stay away from smoothies because it can aggravitate it. Stay away from smoothies. Thank you for joining me today. I love you all. If I didn't greet you, please know that I didn't see your name. Join me again on Saturday. Thanks. Love you. Bye.